Hello and welcome everyone. Bolt action bike. The price is always a big deal, right? So recently I came across 6mm arc. And I was thinking like, why don't I try it? And um, finally, I was looking into the budget and I'm like, okay, budget is not bad because uh, it's, it's attainable. If you really want to get into it, yes, it is attainable. And that is made possible by this guy here. Okay, this video is not sponsored by anyone. Nobody has sponsored this. I have paid money to get it. Uh, the reason why I thought this is much more feasible than getting a new 6mm arc bolt rifle or 6.5 Creedmoor bolt rifle or any of those is the price point. From the research I did, I was able to find out I can put this on my existing AR lower. So I have two different lowers here. I believe I have done videos of both but I think this one I took it down. Uh, it was done a long time back. This one I recently did like later last year, late last year I believe. But uh, but this is 762 by 39 and this is uh, 223 This is 223 Valkyrie uh, 18, uh, 20 inch barrel. Yep, 223 uh, Wild, not Valkyrie. 223 Wild 20 inch barrel, stainless steel from Bear Creek Arsenal. I have various other Bear Creek Arsenal uh, rifles over the upper, basically upper, not the whole Bear Creek. I had good luck with everything except this one. This one only shoots properly uh, brass rounds. I don't know if it's just brass round or it's just breaking period. I ran probably around 500 rounds through it, still it shoots only brass, anything 223. Uh, I try to shoot if it's not brass, it does not cycle well. So I have to keep on, it acts more like a bolt gun. Okay. So let's stop on the rambling and then uh, get to this. The ammo that I have is Hornady V Match. Hornady is the one that makes the 6mm arc. And I have Hornady Match. And I also have Hornady Black. All right, so I have these loaded. Not all of it. It's loaded uh, with Hornady Black on uh, both magazine I have. So this is a standard magazine that came with uh, the 762 by 39. So that one cycles well with 762 by 39 rounds. Uh, the 6 mm arc will not uh, use our AR-15 magazine. So you basically need. 762 by 39 so I have a few other magazines but I just wanted to start off small with the 10 round magazines that came with it factory so I'm gonna try out with both uh, lowers and we'll find out which lower works better to pair I was looking also into a, a fairly cheaper alternative and I found this discovery <coughs> I'll probably do excuse me I'll probably do a, a separate video of the discovery on how it works but um, I haven't even opened it. I'm not going to do the video of swapping the barrels. First, I'm going to swap with this guy here, which is a PSA lower paired with a Bear Creek Arsenal upper and a Pinty scope. Not a huge fan of any of these, uh, any of the setup. I was not happy with the setup except the look of it uh, when I set it up. Uh, I believe it's not the lower, I hope. So I'm going to put another stainless steel barrel from a Bear Creek Arsenal and this is 20 inch barrel. Let's get into it and let's open the barrel and see what's inside here. Alright, it did not come with the sights. It comes with no tool either. I added this here. I just opened the box. Well, does it come well packed? I don't know, but this is more than enough, I think, for uh, something uh, like this. So it comes with Bear Creek Arsenal sticker, which is going to go into my cabinet, which is what I normally do. 
Then I will need more of those stickers, right? When I change my cabinet, because the old cabinet has that, and then I need it on a newer one. Like that, maybe. Made in USA. That's that's one thing. People talk a lot about the quality and stuff like that, but you know, you need to support those companies too. And they're actually doing a pretty good job on making it affordable for everyone to get into the game. If you really like it, if you want to advance it, you want to go forward, yes, you can. But if you only have option to uh, buy $2,000 rifle for starters, it is not accessible for common people. So in this one, it is. It came well lubed. Uh, I'm not going to clean it or anything. It is lubed. And the tool that uh, I put in there, which is this um, wrench that's for this uh, sides, uh, sights, it's uh, candid sights. Uh, that one works for the bolt too. So if you want to take the bolt off, I'm going to take it off now. It wasn't too tight, so you probably want to work with that a little bit, tighten it, and then the bolt come off after you take this piece off with that on probably not gonna come out yeah we need to take this off and it has an o-ring here so make sure you don't lose that o-ring yep yeah. don't lose that o-ring so this is a 6.5 Grendel bolt I'm not going to go into the details of it, but let's see how it works. And then tighten it back up. There's one thing, like, you do have to really tighten this or not, I, I really don't know. It's, I, I wish they actually mentioned that. It is tightened. <laughs> Enough. And now I decided to go with the side charging for various reasons. One, uh, the regular AR-15 top charging. The one I got on my 20-inch uh, barrel. I had troubles. And when I was trying to work on it, clear it, it was too much of a hassle, especially with the scope. So I always didn't enjoy that top charging. But I think my 308, I got with top charging and a few others I did. They are all working fine, but when it's not, when you have to cycle and go through, it's kind of a hassle. And then uh, when I used the side charging, it was much more easier for me to handle. All right, so that's basically what it is. It is fluted barrel. Now let's put it on this baby right here. If everything works fine, I'm going to keep this barrel aside. I'm going to be using this on this. So this is not a fluted barrel. Usually I can push it with my thumb. It's not going through. So let's use the readily accessible tool I had, which was a ammo. Same here. Right, so I'm not gonna go any further. You, anyone who is trying to watch this probably knows how this is done. So here we go. It's mounted. And I'm not gonna shoot it right now. What I'm gonna try to try to put the scope onto and then we'll shoot it. Alright, let's uh, get to that. Hello and welcome everyone. I have a discovery scope. This is a discovery right here. 4 to 16 into 44. So I'm going to try. I saw 4 to 16 into uh, 4 to 16 uh, by 40 for a way cheaper price. I might give that a try too. 
and also four, four to no six to twenty four and forty. That also was cheaper. So it comes with the scope, the rings which is tall, and the throw lever for your uh, focus. What happened is uh, the scope. I did not have the tool to take the scope rings off and put it in and I don't want to waste too much time before I take my first shot. So load it 10 rounds. And I'm going to use iron sights for the candid one to the side. So let's see how this works for the first time. What happened is uh, the scope. I did not have the tool to take the scope rings off and put it in and I don't want to waste too much time before I take my first shot. So load it 10 rounds and I'm going to use iron sights for the candid one to the side. So let's see how this works for the first time. I have to move this back a little bit. I want to get the glasses for this. Alright. Oh, oh it's dead on. I know what, <laughs> I love this thing. My first initial impressions, dead on. Like, whoa. <laughs> hey, look at, look at the target. I'm super impressed. I have not done anything to the rifle from the lower, which I was not before happy with, into way better than what I can ask for and for the budget. Oh my goodness. I cannot wait to shoot more. And this time I was shooting the uh, already black. I'm going to go next, another 10 rounds. I'm going to choose a different target.
looks like I'm getting weaker. Yes, I missed a round at the least three rounds. And bring the lower. This is a radical firearms lower, which which I was always happy with when I had it. This was a good lower. All right. So. Okay. And this is working well, seated well. So now I'm actually going to uh, use quantity match this time. There you go. That's how this guy shoots. It works with radical firearms, 762 by 39 lower, no problem so far. PSA lower, no problem so far. I had no hiccups, nothing. Bear Creek Arsenal have done a great job. I love the barrel, it is hot. I actually got the heavy barrel. I would prefer a heavy barrel over anything else at this point, especially for long range. So. This one's doing exceptionally well. So the next thing is I want to start uh, mounting sights, I mean mounting uh, the scope and see how it works with the scope. Let's, uh, let me go get something, uh, a tool for the scope to mount. Try once more. Yeah, sighting the scope is going to be a challenge. And so it was much more easy. Right, so after pairing with the scope, took some shots, I'm going to try one more round of uh, Hornady V-Match. I'm going to try this and see how that goes. Alright, so now I have everything painted, the sun is hot, but somehow I feel like there's a shadow. That's what I'm talking about. So to the left. Okay, it's no one now. I mean, I missed before. Oh, got it. Right. Perfect. Alright, so there's my verdict. I would recommend this on a heartbeat. I won't. If you like to get one, I would say please try out Bear Creek. They have not paid me. I paid my money. I'm not sponsored by anyone, right? So I'm just a starting person who just started making videos of firearms and a couple of other things that I like to. Not doing everything, but I'm only do making videos of things that I like. So basically, uh, I love firearms. So from my use today, as you have seen, I'm using it for the first time. 
I'm like a baby when I get to this. I'm so happy, excited to try it out, see how it is. It's a new toy or a tool, whatever you want to call it. But it helps me to have it <clears throat> and then uh, I'm going to keep using this. I believe this is going to be one of my go-to rifle for long range. The only one that I have, I would say, at this point. But um, thank you everyone for uh, watching. I hope you all liked the video, enjoyed it, or you were able to get some information out of it. Yes, I know I have not provided any uh, data specs on speed and stuff like that. I know there's plenty of videos. Yes, you are here. That means I should be able to provide those, but I don't have any of the chronographs or anything to provide you that data, but I know there are plenty of information out there. However, you stumble upon this video, I want to give you enough information for a newbie who is into firearms who like to choose a 6 arc. Is that right for you? Depending on your usage, but if you want uh, to get into 6 arc, I would say Bear Creek Arsenal, trust me. Bear Creek Arsenal is so far, so far good. Uh, my, these are my first rounds, but I don't have any doubts. And Radical Firearms lower. Uh, it's not a, just a lower I got, I got a Radical Firearm 7.62 by 39 rifle, so I took that rifle upper and put this in. Also PSA lower, all of those works perfectly fine. It sings perfectly fine with uh, Bear Kick Arsenal 6 arc uh, 24, uh, yeah, 24 inch uh, barrel. All right, so that's that's how I like it. That's how I feel like feel about it. So I hope you are have the same feeling if you ever get to it and try it out. I hope I'm not sending a wrong information either. So please feel free to provide comments on what you felt like, what you feel like about 6 arc, 6 mm mark, if you like it. Are you looking forward to getting one? If you are, which one you got, what is your rig, what is your setup, please let me know all of that things. I would love to read the comments and see. Alright, thank you. Have a good day. Take care. Bye-bye.